morning it is the morning of red hook crit brooklyn and i'm super tired jet lagged didn't sleep much last night i was up really late editing my video that you may have watched if you haven't watch it because i was up really late editing it so um, we're going to roll down to the course right now they have the open practice so you get to check out the course for the first time i'm gonna head down there with my kind of teammate Kira, we're kind of teammates, we both ride for Windy Miller, but obviously I'm in ASOS and she's got a different kit. So we're going to jump on our bikes, roll down there, see what it's like. I think our qualifications are a little bit later at about 1.30 and then the main race is this evening. So hopefully I've got enough energy to see me through. Where are we going, Biscuit? Well, I think we're going to the Red Hook cruise terminal, but I've just got to get on that Wi-Fi. I have my own personal guide here. No, Kira's in control. Is that, is, is, that, is that a bad idea that Kira's in control? So we're late. Everyone else is checking out the course. I'm still in a hoodie and a pair of jeans. I'm going to jump on and see what it's like because I don't have much time. These guys are already warming up for their races, so yeah, you need to hurry up. Hello, hello. hello. Don't turn up too late for practice. I had to beg and plead for one lap. They let me have one lap. So at least I've ridden the course. Hello, hello. And look who I've just spotted. <laughs> Check out that Azor suit. <laughs> Looking good, Adrian. This is the perfect time. Are you going to rock the shades as well? I think so. They're I think proper, you should. Like flash. Like gold. I think yeah. you should. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, that's what she said. Well, it is quite different weather to yesterday. I've got to say, I am loving this. The sun is out. The sun is out. You can even see the Statue of Liberty somewhere over there. Yeah, there it is. See it? Probably not. Anyway, I'm actually going to go get a coffee. I don't normally drink coffee. I am caffeine free. But on race day, I have one. And I reckon it gives me a bit of an edge. I don't know. Probably psychological. But I oh, know it does. It reduces your uh, reduces that pain. Does it? Yeah. Caffeine reduces. Your, no, it. it's like your perception of pain is less. Right. You let, can therefore go faster. Let's get loaded up on the caffeine then. Yeah. Three. Because the leaders are going to be very, very. Hello. Hi. How are you? Pay attention to the yellow flag. Oh, no. Hey Carla! Hello, hello! Hi! 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 Good to see you! Hello! Good morning! Woo woo woo! Dude! That is so cool! Did you get that done here? Uh, no, it was actually my sister who did it. No! That's rad. <laughs> so the one thing that always happens at Red Hook Crit, because it's a fixed gear race, what gearing you choose is critical. I mean, you can't change gear. So everyone spends the entire day wondering what, what gear everyone else is running and trying to figure out what they should run. So the course is really pretty wide open, not super technical. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to gear up. Some people are better at spinning, you know, high cadence stuff. I'm better at putting out more power at a lower cadence. So I'm going to go for that. If it doesn't work in the qualies, then I can change it for the finals. problems as always my cleats are moving so I'm just gonna get that sorted it's really nice having someone to help me oh, thank hi. you <laughs> Look, I'm, like, I'm like a little pony my balls aren't straight is the Garmin getting in the way messing up your perception I was wondering that but I, I really think they're just not straight yes. <laughs> for helmets eh? So now that I've managed to stop crying, yes I do care about bike racing quite a lot, uh, I was wondering whether I should do the second chance race or not seeing as I landed on my head and I've kind of got whiplash but David has unfortunately got the answer to that question, what is going on with my bike? So uh, a little bit of a wobble on the wheel but that's going to be that's going to be just fine. Um, some pretty scary helmet damage. That is a brand new helmet, god damn it! <laughs> Mind you, it's better than doing my head. And unfortunately, that's what happens when you put a bike in a barrier at race speed. Oh dear. It's a pretty big crack straight through the fountain picture. Oh god! Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I got it. Um, so, I guess that means that I'm on the beers tonight. But I'll be cheering on Kira. Pressure's on you, bird! <laughs> no you got to represent for Windy Miller because um, all I've done is broke all my equipment. Yeah. <laughs> so many of my mates are now in the second chance race. They're going to try and qualify to get a place in the finals and I'm just happy to be here cheering them on. I, I'm still crying now. <laughs> uh, but they're all like, what are you doing? Why are you racing? But I've broken my bike. So I'm going to be cheering them on and then I'm going to be having a beer. <laughs> A minute ago, I was like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. 
It's just going to be fun to watch and cheer my friends. And now that we're all racing, I'm really bummed out again because I want to be racing. But I've got a bit of a limp and whiplash and I hit my head. So probably better off out. That is seriously annoying because of the crash. I finished basically last, which means that in the next round, of the Red Hook Crit, I'm going to get a really terrible starting position and I'm basically going to have to start at the back. This day gets better and better. This is how you open a beer with a shoe. Oh, fail. Oh, yes! Thank you. And it's a nice one. <laughs> Yo, we're on Julie Elliott's YouTube. Oh, yes, we do. Hip and down. Eat pizza. Oh, it's kind of slightly heartbreaking. A very strong road. 